So what's going on guys, it's Sweat. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Abyss on the uh, 390 light version of Crota. You guys can do this on any difficulty. All you guys are going to need is a sword with double scabbard on, so you have maximum ammo, and uh, the memory of Radagast, so you have even more ammo. This can be done on any class, but I would definitely recommend doing it on Titan, as it is the easiest in my opinion. Alright, so now that we're loaded in and the bridge is building, make sure you guys pop a heavy synth. And uh, make sure you guys got full ammo there. You guys will have 101 sword ammo if you do not have the heavy ammo extension on Twilight Garrison. But uh, the one sword swing doesn't really make that big of a difference. Now that the bridge is built, we're going to go across here. Before you guys enter into the hole, you guys are going to want to look. You're going to line your crosshairs up between... Uh, that little thing there, and that little thing there. I like to look right about here-ish. Otherwise, you will not have the correct angle, and you will hit the kill wall, most likely. So as soon as we hit the darkness zone here in a second, um, you guys are going to Twilight Garrison forward, and you're going to RBRT sword combo five times forward, and then we're going to start turning. Alright, boys, before we go down into the abyss, um, I'm just going to go over what I'm talking about with the kill wall here. Um... The kill wall uh, is like an invisible, uh, obviously as the name states, kill wall that will kill you if you fly into it, if you're flying too high. Um, the kill wall is all along this first wall here. So the flight path we're going to be taking when we get down, like you're coming down like right around here-ish. And with the angle that I show in the video, you're going about five swings this way. And then as you start turning... You're going around that wall, and you're going straight towards this lamp, and this is where you're going to land. Alright, so we hit the darkness zone. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, we're going to start slowly turning here. We're going to avoid the death barrier. Alright, we're flying kind of towards that plate. we got to avoid the death barrier. Now we can start turning a little bit. We're going to aim for that lamp down there straight in front of us. It is easiest trap rather than going straight to the end. Alright, so now that we're about at this lamp, we're going to fall in sword block. Get rid of some of that darkness. make our way towards the other lamp here but we're not going to activate it quite yet we want to hit the plate before we start um, activating the lamp and we have it activated we're gonna go back to the lamp here with the extra sword swings we have plenty of ammo left which is nice but you do have a little bit of ammo for leeway and once you're out of darkness you're gonna run over here we're gonna jump on top if you guys do miss that sword swing, or miss the jump, you can sword swing up onto the thing. And we're going to look over and make sure we don't get baked by the ogre here. I might get baked because I definitely forgot to put a sniper on this. It'll be interesting. Alright, we got him. No problem. Now we can just chill here. Music is almost done. All right, music's almost done, so we can hop off here. We're just gonna tighten, skate our way to the end, boys. 